What about the basic question of when we're going to see, if ever, the trade conflicts really show up in the real economy? Because it's what the Fed people keep talking about. We keep looking for that. Yep. Well, the first thing is, you know, related to this conversation about the trucking indicator, we're in a world with a lot more volatility. It used to be the government's job was to damp uncertainty coming out of the market. Now what we've got is a government which is manufacturing uncertainty about what are we going to do here, what are we going to do there. So I, I think we're already seeing the effects of this uncertainty in things like uh, dampening of investment. Because who wants to commit to a location for a plant, to a new product line, if you don't know what you know who your suppliers are going to be and who your customers can be. So is that a uh, durable goods investment? Uh, wh well, where does it show up? The, the most durable investment is going to be the most sensitive to uh, uncertainty, but but any type of investment is is going to be reduced because of uncertainty. So uh, so that effect is probably already showing up in in the data. If you're looking for something like tariffs that cause like uh, the financial crisis, that's unlikely. I think the more likely damage is this reduction in investment, lower productivity growth, lower growth overall, but we'll have to watch over time to see those effects. What I was struck with the with, with the trucking analysis is that you see the uh, the shakeup say in one to three month demand, and then you see what they're transporting, and it's consumer goods and it's retail, which means you're hinging on the consumer. But 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 remember, he was saying it was like going down and accelerating down, and then and suddenly then it, right. takes the biggest jump up. But, that's but it, just a sign we're in this world that's just a lot more uncertain. Right. And people are like turning on a dime from oh no, it's terrible. Oh no, it's going to be great. And you know that's not good for long run growth, for investment, for productivity. Totally agree, yeah. and that's why if you take aside long term investment productivity and take away consumer, how does a consumer respond to that kind of volatility? Yeah, well, it could also be that consumer confidence deteriorates in, in this environment. But again, I would see that as a kind of a, a gradual uh, playing out of this, and it could be masked by. You know, people are watching these things like it was like, you know, professional wrestling. So when, when it's like, yay, our team won one, they, they might kind of report they're, they're feeling good. But, uh, but I think the trend is going to be down. Well, and that brings us back to jobs, because we had some very disappointing numbers on Friday. You talk about yeah. volatility. You look about these jobs numbers over the last several months. They've been way up. They've been way down. Yeah. Uh, what's causing that? Well, I think, again, the uncertainty is a big part of this. And you can think of hiring a worker as a kind of investment on part of the firm, because you've got training costs, you've got hiring costs. If you had to do a reduction in force, then you've got to have some other severance costs. So even hire is an investment. And if the world is suddenly going up and down every day, you're probably going to hold back on making that kind of investment in people. Well, and not only that, if you hold back with people, then that's a job issue for them. But there was some great uh, research done about how much the tariffs have now cost households. So yeah. on what we've seen so far, that's been $831 per household versus like a little over 900 that you got back yeah. uh, from the tax cuts. Right. I, I think that number would be the cost over the course of a year. Mm -hmm. So what's happening is, is that's starting to show up in the household budget but it's relatively small, so it may take some time for people to really appreciate how big the, the hit is going to be on their purchasing power. Okay, so now we don't have the 5% tariffs on Mexico. Does that inject some well, we certainty don't, back into the marketplace? We don't today, but you know, who knows? I, I, no, I don't think it, it brings certainty back at all. I, I think, uh, you know, if you're thinking about a plant decision right now, and Mexico had been one other thing about purchasing from a supplier. Mexico a month ago had been a you know pretty clear option. That's a lot less clear right now.